Ready? Hi. Today I will be giving an informative speech. My speech today is going to be about what makes painting so valuable and why. This speech is given in my public speaking class and it's conducted by Professor Ken Williams. I'll be presenting the speech and we're going to go ahead and jump off in it. Have any of you ever looked at a cartoon in the late 80s or early 90s called the Nina Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? There were four turtles that had been trained by this rat in the art of ninten ninjutsu. These turtles were actually crime fighters by night and living in the sewer during the day. Although these were four fictional uh, characters, their names had great significance. You had Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Those are names of some of the greatest Italian Renaissance artists that ever lived. Today, we won't be talking about turtles, but those turtles are indirectly tied to what we are discussing. Today, I wanted to elaborate on the art and the artist. I have this interest in art because I like to draw. I have never sold a drawing in my life. But after this speech tonight, I might reconsider. <laughs> I would like to speak about what makes a painting valuable and why. One of the main factors collectors look for when purchasing art is authenticity. We see replicas or knockoff brands of just about everything these days, whether it's jewelry, handbags, or art. Some of the replicas look as, a, as good as the real thing, but a duplicate would never be, will never have the value of the real thing. To make sure a painting is authentic are several things the buyer needs to look for. You want it to be an original. You will also want it to be signed by the artist. Then you will need a handwritten expert to verify the signature is real. Without the painting being signed, it is practically worthless. We also need to be aware of the condition of the painting. Even if it's an original, it will have very little value if it's in poor condition. Any chips, smudges, or scratches can devalue the art. Some of the most priceless art in existence is hundreds of years old. Therefore, collectors will be viewing it very close. The popularity of the artist has a great price tag. You often hear art collectors and art dealers speaking of Rembrandt, Picasso, Van Gogh, and Monet. All of these artists work as priceless. However, if you had the opportunity to purchase some of their work and you did not know who created it, you might not be impressed at all. And therefore, popularity plays a major role. This photo we're looking at right now it was painted by Picasso. Pablo Picasso painted this picture, and this is something that I would not buy if I didn't know the value of it. Then you have the background of the artist. If there is something in the background that can fascinate the public, almost any captivating story will sell his work. Which brings me to John Michael Bachette, born in Brooklyn, New York in 1960 to a Haitian father and a New York native Puerto Rican mother. At the age of eight years old, Bachet was hit by a car while playing in the street and suffered a broken arm and severe internal damages. His father threw him out of the house when he dropped out of high school at the age of 17. So the teenager, he managed to get by, you know, on the streets, selling sweatshirts, postcards marked by his drawings, panhandling and crashing at friends' homes. Bachet became a junior member of the Brooklyn Museum at the age of six. In the spring of 2018, that same museum hosted one Bachet, an exhibition devoted solely to the artist Breaking Record, untitled 1982, which was purchased by a Japanese collector for $110.5 million, the most ever paid for an American artist at an auction. And the picture we're looking at right now is a picture that sold for 110.5 million. You know, it's art. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bosquet died of an accidental drug overdose on August 12, 1988. At his great Jones Street studio, he was only 27 years old. Therefore, like most artists, he made more money in his death than he did when he was alive. So what makes a painting so valuable and why? Authenticity, condition, background of the artist, 
And please note, the painting on canvas, canvas is far more valuable than painting on paper. So are there any questions right now? Okay, if we don't have any questions, I would like to thank every one of you for your time during my presentation. Thank you.